friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Anyway, um, so for me, it's Day 16, the day after. I mean, yeah, the day after my birthday party, um, which you guys are watching today as I'm filming this one. And um, Robert got me these cool, like, look at these, <laughs> to throw my candles. Where it, like, throws an arc. Can you see that? And it lights the candle. It's so cool. And they're rechargeable, so I don't ever have to buy, like, because my lighters always go out. Um, and his daughter painted me a beautiful pot. Kenzie got me some macrame hanging pots from the house that I wanted. Um, actually, his daughter also gave me one. I think that fits the one she made, and it's right here, so I'll show it to you. She's a very a beautiful artist, and she made me, I don't know if you can see, the little kitty, and it says Lucky on it. And this is, she said, a money plant. Um, I got to look up how to take care of that, but that's fun. So, and then this guy was replanted and he is over here. So he's, um, from my friend Tiffany. I love that. Like these are like friendship plants that come from other people's plants. This one is recuperating now that it's up because the cats did some nibbling on them. So, um, but it's beautiful and I need to water this guy today. That is starting to grow a new shoot here. This is the, um, orchid and I need to put some ice cubes in it so um and I got some really neat um William Sonoma this is um from Lo Logan and Drew countertop spray which I'm super excited and pink grapefruit to try that which today I'll try it because I've got to clean after the party this is pink grapefruit hand soap and we have an automatic hand soap dispenser in now in our thing um but I may just put this up there anyway because it's cute and then this is um just dish soap as well. Um, I've got a, a gift card from Crystal and Nick um, for $25. And then Tyler and um, Grayson or TJ picked out and Ellie, they got a couple dog, dog toys, which they're obliterated on the floor already. Let me show you. You can see the pieces, the fuzz, the nature just stepped on it. <laughs> And then um, a really cool like water fountain feature, like a really calming, relaxing, zen type of a thing. Um, and then Robert is building me a trellis archway. Um, he did get me a couple of things, including a stack of these farm fresh Christmas trees. And they, um, they're all in a little stack. There's four of them. Um, he also got me like a thing to make a, a holiday drink that you just add the liquor and stuff in. So him and I are going to have that one night. Um, just little stuff, little, little stuff that, you know, I like. And then of course he got me these, this little practical gift, which I actually really like. He also got me, I'm almost out of it, chocolate, salted chocolates. Oh, and this, this is up here. Isn't that pretty? This little, um, insulated mug for work. So, or for here when I'm working here, because I got the one, I might take the big one to work that they gave me, the Richmond Group one to work, and then, because that fits in your, it does, I could like put hot stuff in it, like if I make hot cocoa or something or coffee and it keeps it warm, but it also would fit in my car to take to work, and then this one maybe I'll use when I work remote. So I am still having issues with my eyes. I just took a shower and put some oil on them. Um, so I, and I got rid of that palette and I looked up like, what are the ingredients that could be like causing my skin to swell and, and itch real bad? And they said any of the cones, like dimethicone, whatever the other rest, what rest of them are, talc and paraben. So I went and looked at the ingredients in that palette and it had everything that would irritate your eyes in it. And it was said that those are often used in like really cheap, cheaply made eyeshadows. Um, and I have been using, you know, you guys know, I use a lot of like, high-end stuff and they said that Pat McGrath doesn't use any of that stuff that's good stuff to use um, I gotta look at the rest of them because I don't know but I'm gonna have to start paying attention I also have had problems when I use like I think it's either Too Faced or Tarte sometimes like if I leave that on my eyes it'll bother me and I think that has talc in it so they're like a it's like a binding dimethicone and silicone and parabens and all of that stuff and then talc so I'm gonna just try to not use eyeshadow that has that in it. Today I'm not going to use any eyeshadow. I'll probably put some mascara on and liner just because I need to just let my eyes be. I wanted to film today but not going to happen. The eyes need to rest. I did put up a foundation declutter video that I did while I was cleaning yesterday. It's just 10 minutes long um, but it was over 40 different foundations so if you want to check that out that is um, uploading now on the well no it should be up now when you see this on the beauty channel. So on the agenda today I've got to clean up the house a little from yesterday's party and then I am going to try to get out of the house and get some Christmas shopping done and I'll take you along with me. All right guys well I've done a whole lot of nothing today. I was hoping to go shopping today but 
We had my holiday party Thursday, my birthday party, which I cleaned all day for yesterday, and it was just insane, and it was so good, but um, I woke up today, and my body was aching, um, and I think part of it was stress, and um, I think I just maybe overdid myself the last couple of days, so... Um, I decided just, you know, like we're talking about self-care to take care of myself and to just do nothing today. So I lit candles. I've just, I'm drinking some hot tea right now. I've just been relaxing today. And that's what I really just needed to do. I did do some online shopping though. So I will show you a little bit later the items that I purchased for some of the kids. Um, and I thought today instead what we would do is my Stitch Fix, which is right here. So I've opened that up. Um, I haven't like gotten into it. I just cut it open and we're going to see what is in this Stitch Fix. And I do now have an affiliate link. Um, even if you are a existing customer, I guess if you use it and you go to the um, like their sales section or you the freestyle section, apparently that does help me. So um, I'm excited to partner with Stitch Fix and, um, and work with them a little bit more. So anyway, let's get into what we have. I don't really know what's in here. I, um, I don't know that this is my favorite box. I can't rem I remember getting my, I remember getting my, um, like the last box was so, so good. And then like the preview for this was just like, okay, you know, so we'll see. Do you have your mailer to send anything back, which I only put here, so don't lose it. And then somewhere is our stuff. So here we go. So we have a letter from our stylist, so let's start there, and also the cards of what comes in the box. Um, they give you usually two different ways to wear each item, and I, oh, I have a different, I have a different stylist. It says, hello, Terry, happy stitch, fi happy fix day. I'm thrilled to be your stylist, and I can't wait for you to try on all the pieces I've carefully selected for you. As we're headed into the colder months, I focused on cozy and versatile items that could be mixed and matched for a variety of looks. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on these pieces. Remember... Your feedback is invaluable in helping me understand your style and preferences better. Enjoy your fix. I'm excited for you to try on the trend, the on-trend boot cut jeans from Studio Blue. They're a versatile piece that can be dressed up or down. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, can't wait to hear your thoughts on each piece. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. All the best, Constance. So I had Heather, so I don't know. Maybe Heather's on vacation for the holidays. I don't think I switched to my stylist, so she might just be on vacation. So, all right, so let's see. Prices are decent. All right, um, so let's go in here. We'll look at those later. Let's just see what we got. We have two bundles, actually. Oh, and it says holiday cheer in here. Cute. So one, two, three, four, and then I guess... Five? I might have... Did I order this? I don't know. This might be something I ordered in freestyle. Um, but, oh, maybe not because there seems to be like only four in here. Well, we'll start with this. I like the new holiday sticker stitch fix. Good job. Yeah, this is four pieces. I also have a very annoying dog here because he thinks it's four o'clock. It's not, but he's thinking it is and he wants to eat. Um, so this is Nine Britain Maya Scallop Neckline Long Sleeve Knit Top in a red, size small. Um, this looks a little bit more like a burgundy. Oh, there's the scallop on the top. Very beautiful. Very pretty detailing there. Nice little layering piece or something to wear with like jeans. You could wear that under a cardigan. Nice little thing for maybe Christmas Day when it's wrinkled, but Christmas Day might be nice when you just want to be comfortable, you know, like, I don't know. We, we are doing Christmas Eve here at my house and then with Robert's kids and then we're going to be at Kenzie's with my kids because um, the kids, um, Kenzie's fiance is very allergic to my animals, so I have to do something somewhere else for that. So we usually have it at her house. Okay, this is a Kaylee Magdalena knit tiered dress in a black size small petite. This is cute. This is really cute. Okay, so it's just like a little short little black dress, be cute with black tights and like little black booties, which I own both of, so. That is cute. Then we have a pink clover Raquel button sleeve detail knit top in a black size small. And it is just another little cozy layering piece. And here is the little detail on the buttons. I like this, except black is such a bad color for my house with the white dog, a white cat, an orange cat. We have every color animal here. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but that's cute. And, and these are very soft. You can tell these are like that Modell or whatever. 
material. And then these are the studio blue jeans she mentioned. I don't know what size she sent, probably a six. Um, they're a petite, six petite. Emojin pork chop pocket. Ooh, good jean pork chop pocket. I gotta look at that. I don't get it. Pork chop pocket, that's the butt. I don't know, but anyway. Here we go. I did just have to throw out some of my jeans. These are a little like a baby boot cut. Really cute. And then there is a cardigan. Maybe I can try both of those. I wonder if both of them will look okay. The black would look okay with this cardigan from what I can see right here. Um, I don't know about that red one though. This is a big, thick, juicy one. Oh, it's got a hood. This um, is also a small and it's by Letty and Me and it is the Helsa color block Sherpa line cardigan in burnt orange. This is like so like warm and cozy which is so perfect for me because I'm always cold these days unfortunately. I'm always chilly um, and I do kind of like the color family here and I love the fact that it's got a little a little hood for outside or whatever. So yeah so those are cute. Okay I'm gonna finish my tea, friends. Um, I gotta pee first, too. And then we're gonna try these things on. Um, I'm probably gonna feed the animals before I try them on just so they're not barking during our try-on. But stay tuned, it's coming right up. Okay, I really like this top. Let me show you, and I like these jeans. Um, and I put, I have neon yellow socks on because my feet were cold and I don't care. <laughs> so I did put um, boots on so you guys can see the whole thing. So this top, is the Maya Scallop neckline one in Night by Nine Britain. This one's $40, it's a beautiful top. It fits really nice. And the Studio Blue jeans are 64, which I think is a really good price for a pair of jeans. So let me show you this. So this one fits really nicely. Like it makes you feel like thin. It's got this gorgeous detail. And the, um, I would cut those off if I keep it. And the material is so stinking soft. And I could see you wearing this on Christmas Day just for fun. I have it out now, but I'm going to tuck it in. But I'm going to back up a little bit because I just want to show you guys the... Oops, excuse me, Chopper. I want to show you guys the um, the jeans. Oh, I got you up too high. i got animals everywhere. Okay, so the jeans fit really, really cute. I'm going to tuck this in now so you can see totally. I guess, oh, I just tucked a tag back there and it like poked me right in the butt. Do you wanna go outside, Chops? Wanna go outside? You too? All right, come on, brats. Two seconds, Chopper's gonna be barking. Anyway, these fit nice and I need a pair of jeans. I might get both of these. I really, really like both of these pieces. <laughs> like, you can't see her, but there's a kitty right here. What are you doing sitting right there? What are you doing just sitting in the middle of the floor? And I also was like grabbed my Liverpool black jacket. I love this. This was probably from Stitch Fix too, but with my black, um, look at what a edgy cute little outfit this is. You could add like a black belt and then I've got the black, the black boots on. So cute. Love. Love this. Uh, so these are great pieces. Yeah, they look good. I feel like they show off my curves in a good way. Um, sometimes things don't and sometimes, you know, especially when you're like five foot two and you're super short. But I, I've always felt like the boot cut was a good look for me because my hips are so big, I feel like it balances out the, at the bottom. And this shirt really shows how much weight I've lost, which bonus. All right, um, I'm gonna try the black one on next and we'll also try the cardigan. Okay, this one has the cute little details. Very, very cute on the arms. I do really like that, it's very cute. It has a, comes up, it's got a full, like just crew neck or whatever. Again, it's that same kind of material. It does have what I can see is a, the tiniest little detail at the shoulder where it kind of looks like a little tight, the baby is poof. So if you have broad shoulders and you like this look, but you feel like when you wear it, it won't work with you. I think that this one will because it's so very subtle. It's not a big shoulder, you know. Um, I know girls that have, you know, kind of narrow shoulders can wear the big ones, but if you're, if you feel like you're wider, then this might be a good one for you to try. Look, it's got the little pleats that come down, really cute, and then you've got the little buttons. So adorable. Um, so let's tuck them into these jeans. 
Again, I could pair this um, with my black jacket I just showed you, also from Stitch Fix. I need to get new belts. Does Stitch Fix have belts? I'll have to look. Um, none of my belts fit. Actually, I bought, an, I bought a belt like thing, so I can punch holes in the belts that I have, but a lot of my belts are old, and I haven't figured out how to use it yet. All right, so this is nice, so let's back up, and here we are. Yes, I like this too. No complaints, except my cat is like in my way, and if I don't pay attention, she's she gets stepped on a lot by the dogs. She just doesn't get out of the way. She's like the, one of the, the little handicapped one, the newer one. And the other little handicap one is laying here sleeping. Oh, I like this too. Oh, this is going to be a hard box because I'm pretty sure I'm going to like that little dress too. This is just cozy. Now, there are no pockets, but this is so warm and so cozy. You've got fleece. It's not The fleece is not all the way on the inside, but the hood is. And then this is just sweater, but the sweater is so thick as well. This is really cute too and comfy. And I don't think these color black things are still in real heavy, but I like it. Um, so, you know, you wear what you like. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's cute too. Okay, let me get out of all of this. This is gonna be a hard box, friends. And let me try that dress on and you're gonna see my white legs because I'm not putting hose on. Okay, friend, and here is the dress and as expected, really, really, really cute. Um, and it fits great. So this is a petite. I would obviously wear tights with it, but so cute and I have the little black boots. And again, I think this goes so good with my Liverpool jacket. And then if I had little tights on, little black tights or sweater tights, either way for the winter, so cute. What do you think? So adorable and it fits nice. It's not very warm, it's kind of light, but you could probably also for the winter if you wanted. I have some like white fuzzy like sweaters like a little crop sweater you could put a cardigan over this for sure but you could probably also just throw a sweater over the top so it looks like a skirt and have like a white little sweater over it or black all right i don't know what i'm gonna do okay friends that was a really good box from our new stylist constance um i forgot to tell you the black shirt that one is um $38, it's, which is nice. It's just like a simple layering piece or you wear it by itself. And then that dress, the Kaylee Magdalena knit tiered dress was 54. So nothing was super expensive. The total box came to 231. If you keep everything with the 25% off, you get $57.75 off. That brings it to all five pieces to $173.25. I do have $14 credit on here, so that would bring the entire box for five pieces to $159.25. So um, that's really not bad. I'll put in the corner here what that comes out to per piece, but I don't think it's awful. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised because I didn't think I was really gonna like as much from this box and I, I kind of like all of the pieces and I can see me kind of mixing and matching and wearing them with things in my in my clothing and I'm kind of looking at my clothes a little different because I wanna take better care of my clothes but I also need to pare down what I'm keeping and that I like the fact that I lost like three bags of clothes, I really need bras and I really need socks. I need a bra fairy because at this point, I don't even know what size the girls are anymore. With all the weight I've lost, I've lost like two or three sizes. I don't even know. I'm gonna have to go get, get uh, cause everything's loose on me right now. I need new bras. Even this, this bra fit me and now it's loose and I'm like, oh God, maybe I'm still losing weight. I don't know. Um, although I don't think so. Actually, I think I gained a few pounds. So anyway, I'm just rattling here. So let me know your thoughts on what you think I should keep. Should I keep the whole thing for 159 bucks? I don't know, I don't know. My cat's knocking shit down. These cats are always knocking shit down. You have no idea how much shit I clean up from the shitty cats, five cats. They're always making a mess, worse than the dogs. All right guys, I got some thinking to do. Um, 
I'll pop back here in a little bit and I'm gonna get some pictures of the stuff that I picked up for my grandkids. That's all on Amazon because I didn't go out today and I'm going to, um, and I do have some things here. So there's, you're gonna see some kids got more than other thing, other kids. Um, I haven't bought for Lily yet. We do have one adorable outfit for, for Lily. I can't wait to give it to her. She's gonna be so cute in it. Um, she was so funny in yesterday's vlog. She was sitting there eating her chips and she's like, the, the boys were, they had taken their like, they were in their socks and they were just going crazy and they were slipping and sliding all over. And that's when she was going like, the she's like in there, you know, she doesn't have the vocabulary that the other ones have, but she was trying to tell me she's so adorable. So we've got to do some shopping for Lily, which is probably going to be tomorrow. Um, and I've ordered, I've got clothes for all the kids and um, I'll put up what I, I'll put up what I did today shopping online. I also purchased for me and Robert, like kind of a house gift, a, a Hoover for the stairs and for stains. So what we're thinking of doing is painting the stairs. We've already got the paint. So the, the stairs are gonna be a different shade of green than this, it's a little darker green. And then I think what we're gonna do is put a, a carpet runner just up the middle. But my worry was that, cause Robert can do that. He said it's not hard and he can do that. We can get the runner and, and put it up. But my worry was the cats, like, Taz, my orange cat, Taz scarfs and barfs all the time. He just like barfs all the time after he eats and it's orange from the food. It's really hard to get up and it stains. So I bought us a Hoover today. Um, I'm gonna put that under the tree from Santa to me and Robert, just, just a joint gift for the two of us. Cause we kind of said we weren't gonna exchange gifts this year cause we, um, because just money's tight and we have a lot of kids to buy for this year. Um, and tomorrow he is taking me out because he knows I need a little motivation and he is gonna help me finish the Christmas shopping. So. I'm glad to do it with him because I get a little anxiety this time of year going out with all the people and trying to find parking spots and people are crabby and you know as extroverted as I am I think my family always struggles to understand that I actually still have acute anxiety I was diagnosed with that um, and it's, it's like in crowded places and I found that it, it gets it's gotten worse as I get older and those things just stress me out so I think with I, me needing some downtime today with the last couple of days being so busy and around so many people, I needed some downtime and going out and forcing myself to be in crowds again today just wasn't in my best interest for my mental health. So I didn't do it, um, but I did, like I said, I did um, shop online. So you'll see that in just a little bit. All right, guys, so it is evening time. I just went and put, took off all my makeup which I didn't have much on today. And I just deeply moisturized my face. So hopefully it will start to feel better in the next couple of days. Robert just went up to bed. He's had an awful day. He had to work three jobs. People wanted shit done before Christmas. He was by himself today. He worked a lot of hours. I don't think he got home till after eight. Uh, it's 10.30-ish, I think right now. 9, 10, 11, uh, 10 or 10.30, I don't know. Anyway, let's do our advent calendar. We have to do two days because we didn't, yesterday's party, I was just so pooped out. I was really pooped out today too. So um, which ones do we have to do? 16 and 17, I think. Okay, here's 16 or 17. I don't know, but all right. Anyway, here is 16 right here. This one's halfway open. What is this? It's so dark over here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see these. We might have to go in the light when we do the nativity. I'll turn the other light on. Because, yeah, because I can't really see what this is right now. It's too dark. Oh, it looks like, um, well, from in the thing, it looks like it's a piece of um, tiger's eye. That's what that looks like from what I can see. And here's the other side. So, yeah, so that's what that one looks like. So now I have to find number 17. I see number... Um, oh, it's hiding. Okay. 17 is right here. This looks like Jade. Oh, Adventurine. It says, effective for those seeking an improved sense of harmony, optimism, and good luck. Love that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful crystal. Let's put that one. I don't think this one's gonna fit in here. Oh, it did. I can't believe it. Like, barely. <laughs> All right, um, let's get to work on our nativity and getting two of these guys open, number 16 and number 17, and then we'll put them over in the right spot. Um, so it's so dark, I'm having a hard time seeing everything. All right, there's 18, there's 17, here's 16 right here. So this has gotta be an animal because it's a weird shape. 
It looks like an animal shape. Can't get it open. Goodness gracious. Come out of your home. You have a new home to go to. This is a horse. What's in there though? There we go. Yep, it's like a little stallion horse. There we go. Little horsey horse poop. All right, now we have to do number 18, which or 17, which was right up here. I wonder if this is our third wise man. This looks like it could be a person because of the size of the box. Man, these are getting hard to open. I don't know what's going on with this thing now. Oh no, what did we get more fencing? That's what I need to build more fencing. All right, well, that's what we have. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this fencing together and we'll go over there and put it together. So, all right, now, no, 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 no. Let's back it up. All right, let me go get number um, 16 and 17. So, 16, 17 are right here. Let's do 16 first. And number 16, ooh, I like these, Black Eyed Susans. I grew some gorgeous ones this year and I made spread and I'm praying and hopeful that they will continue to come up next year. They look good like they're going to and that they'll continue to spread. Number 17. Strawberry seeds, fun. It might be something fun to do with the kids. Grayson and TJ. All right, I'm going to put these back and we're going to finish up with either our positive energy book or our self care book. Okay, so in our self care book, which I found if, when I was cleaning, cleaning does wonderful things. Um, day 16 says practicing conscious visualization and it says visualize a quiet place and focus your attention on the sensations in your body. You can close your eyes to better concentrate on the visual, visualization. visualization. <laughs> Imagine a place where you feel comfortable and relaxed. It could be a beach, a forest, or any other place that inspires tranquility. Once you have the place in mind, focus your attention on the sensations in your body. Feel how your body rests on the floor or chair. Feel completely present in the moment. Breathe deeply and feel the air moving in and out of your lungs. If your mind starts to wander, don't worry. Refocus on your breathing and the sensations in your body. Do this for a few minutes and you will see how you will feel more relaxed and calm. Visual, visualization is a powerful tool for relieving stress and anxiety. So take a few minutes a day to practice it and you will notice a difference in your emotional well-being. So two things that I would visualize would be either sitting on the beach and listening to in the sun, you know, the sun on my skin and listening and feeling like the salt air and the waves crashing up on, on the um, on the shoreline and I would imagine myself strolling along searching for sea glass and seashells like that would be a fun vis visualization that would be one I might do today um, another one would be in a beautiful tranquil garden and there's birds and scents of all the different like flowers and 
that would be fun and little hummingbirds and animals like to me that and maybe a little stream with gurgling going on those would be things that I would visualize for relaxation so let's see what number 17 says in this one practice conscious art do some artistic activities such as drawing, doodling, or painting and focus your attention on the sensations in your body. Conscious art is a practice that allows us to connect with our body and our emotions in a creative and expressive way. By spending time doing an artistic activity such as drawing, doodling, or painting, we focus on the sensations in our body and the present moment, leaving aside the worries and distractions of everyday life. Additionally, this practice can be an effective way to reduce stress and anxiety and improve your overall mental and emotional health. So if you need a moment of peace and calm in your life, try mindful art, which we have done. I've done a little bit of painting on here. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's been fun. So, um, okay, so we're gonna probably doing some shopping tomorrow, Robert and I, so I'm going to show you the different things that I purchased already online for the kids. And then if we have a haul or anything else that we pick up while we're out, but I think um, my adult kids, oh, I got them a few little things, but I think I'm gonna give them like movie movie tickets and dinner um, because they all could use a night out. All all three of them, five of them, all five of them. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, and I I think yeah I think that's it. Oh my mama got me a little penguin because <laughs> we have a penguin thing her and I. So I got her a penguin thing. She every year this happens we get each other penguin things. So anyway, this is my new penguin ornament from my mama. It's a little felt one. So cute. <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, I am going to hit the hay, my friends. I'm not even editing this or anything tonight. I'm going to do it in the morning, but I hope you enjoyed the stitch fix, stitch fix portion of today as a little uh, distraction uh, from me feeling kind of blah today. Um, I just, just kind of needed a rest. So I still don't know what I'm going to do, if I'm going to keep it all or not. I don't know. I need you guys to comment down below because I kind of like those two shirts, so, but I also feel like I could probably find something for like $16.99 similar at like Marshall's or TJ Maxx or something. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, you guys have a great night and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care guys.